Wow, what a day it's gonna be today. Guys, I've got a lot to do today. First, it starts off with a bit of DIY, but I got, I got some special people I want you to see. Let's get this DIY thing going. So essentially, I have a bit of a problem. I gotta make sure that the studio is soundproofed. I'm quite a loud person. Soundproofing is the wrong word. We need to control some of the acoustics. The window is the biggest culprit. We've got very old, thick walls, which is really cool. So like, sound doesn't really travel through them. I have just this one problem when it comes to building this window. So I'll Google and YouTube, as you do. Is YouTube a verb? I YouTube something. It's a verb. I YouTube uh, <laughs> how, to, how to soundproof a window, and I got this really cool instruction about getting a wooden plank, putting in, wrapping it with like insulation uh, material, like 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 heat insulation material, and then wrapping it with fabric so it looks like a like a curtain. I'm gonna go get some of those tools today and uh, go sort that out. Uh, and I also have breakfast very shortly, so I'm gonna measure up the window, and then I am going to head out. It beats having this. Thing. So right now my solution has been this green screen frame that I had because I got the, the Elgato green screen. I've been using uh, an old duvet that I've just like layered over here just to cover the window so that there's no light that's really escaping and also that there's no audio that's like leaving. It just hits the, the map. But also I'm not 100% I'm not sure that's the best way to do it. I need to make sure that it's pretty secure. So if I clap or if I'm loud, it doesn't travel through. So let me do this properly. Measuring tape in hand. One eleven by one twenty-five. While I wait for my Uber to arrive, we were headed out to breakfast with some very cool people. Uh, they're a local band. There's a clue. Here's one thing that's been on my mind. Uh, this is a good moment to talk about it. So Fortnite servers in Africa are problematic, and we. Well, they don't, they, they don't exist. We just play on EU servers. And if you guys are Fortnite players, you'll know that we have really big problems playing online. Uh, there's a lot of ping. I usually get about a 150 to 170. It's not really competitive. We don't have a competitive advantage. And Fortnite have put like $100 million into competitive gaming. They can't be ignoring Africa. They, they, they can't. I don't know what they're planning and if they are doing anything in Africa, but I think we should push them. And I know there's a petition that's going around, but petitions don't work. They don't do anything. So what I'm thinking of doing is a social media pronged vibe. Guys, make sure that you follow RTC on Twitter. He is the social media manager for Epic and Fortnite. And I think what we're gonna start doing is I think we're gonna start doing some highly suggested posts going, hey man, you need to, guys need to consider Africa as a continent. And I also don't think we should be focusing on South Africa. I know a lot of gamers out there are saying that we should be focusing on South Africa, but we're actually a very small country and Africa as a continent has a lot of Fortnite players. I wanna find out if any of you guys are from Kenya, Nigeria, anywhere up north, uh, uh, that play Fortnite, let me know, comment below. I actually want to find out and see if there's a lot of Fortnite players abroad that we can use, uh, we can all like work together and use use our collective mind to get their attention and get them to talk about us as a, as a, as a continent and provide service for us as a continent. I'm excited, I think this is gonna work. Because even if you don't play Fortnite, this is a way that we can use our collective online social presence to get the attention of developers abroad, to start taking Africa seriously. A lot of us do play games. Uh, there is the capacity for them to invest in the continent. Let's do it, let's do it, why not? I'm gonna include RDC's link down below to his Twitter handle. And I just want a lot of South African Twitter, uh, if you're on Twitter, a lot of South African Fortnite Twitter followers to, to, to follow him. Plus, I think what we should do is we should come up with a hashtag. Uh, I think it should be hashtag Fortnite Africa. Let's do it. That's it. That's the hashtag Fortnite Africa. And I think we should all get hold of them at once one and one day. Yeah, together. I think that's a great way to do it. So we all like hit hit that person up, go, hey, where are the Fortnite servers in Africa? Uh, I'll, I'll work it out. Follow me on Twitter as well and we can do it together. Okay, I thought that was my Uber. Okay, you know. Okay, you know my Uber. All right, start thinking about that. Finally, in the Uber. Hey guys, if you haven't yet, just use my Uber code. If you never used Uber before, I don't know where I'd be without it. This is not a, this is not a promo, but if you use my Uber code to start a trip, uh, I get like a free ride. Pretty happy for this. <laughs> you guys can go check that out. I'll put it in the video description. <laughs> free peace. <laughs> is a, a place called Starling. I'm backlit like crazy. There we go. The place that we're meeting up is a place called Starling. It's like a coffee shop in the southern suburbs. It's like a house that's been converted into like a coffee shop. It's like a garden. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I used to come here a lot when I used to live out here. Now I live in town so things are a little bit different. But we're meeting halfway. Oh, how's it? How's it? Look who's here. Yay! 
They've arrived. Hey. Hello. So if you guys if you guys don't know who Good Luck are, Chuck, Ben, Jules. Yo, guys, see that? I don't even need a rig. That was cool, hey? I like that. And they show me some of the studio that they're building. Can I, can I show people that? Yes. Is that, is that public? Yes. I just, I actually want to focus on the gaming thing, because they're, they're building a gaming studio. Well, really building nice. a gaming leg or arm to the studio. And uh, Ben is like, got a lot of crazy ideas, like mounting the TV to a fireplace, which sounds like a terrible idea. Okay, so this is the studio. Okay, so this is amazing studio they're building. This is incredible, guys. I'm really excited to see what it's like. That's a party room. It's a party room. We're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff. Stuff there, but like I want to take take you to the gaming space. There we go. Okay, That's there we go. There. See this. This is a fireplace, right? He wants to mount the TV to the to the fireplace. to the fireplace, and on the other side. Okay, obviously these seats here oh, on the other side you could sit down and play, but there there will be a net overhanging. Yeah, a catamaran net. A catamaran look, overhanging. Look, look, look. I show, I show you. I show you. I show um, you. There we go. The There's catamaran a, net. So that's yeah. a catamaran net that you can ride. rotate, guys. Like a fire, like a gaming system on a fireplace is a terrible well, I don't idea. I want to put the, like the system on the fireplace. So I just mount the monitor there. The system will have like the console will be in its own like specific spot. Now, idea is that if you can have the TV mounted on the, the chimney of the fireplace, then when you're in the lounge, you can watch the TV and like play like games and chill out. But then if you like really like feeling like you're inspired and you want to hang out in a cool spot, you can spin the TV the cool 180 spot. degrees, jump onto the catamaran net, and jam. Have up you even thought about the catamaran net being a comfortable place to play games? Of course. That's true. We'll put you cushions on, on the front of a catamaran. Where, where have you been living? I mean, come on. First world problem. Well, have you petitioned this? I just go slow. Have you petitioned this? I don't want games at all. I want us to make music. Yeah. <laughs> We're actually not really gamers. I love how much effort this gaming section has taken for you to build, and it's actually a music studio. But like, games are so important to good luck that they've got to do this. One I only have one game up here on my phone. It's called Snake vs. Blocks. If you haven't experienced it, you should. It's amazing. It's what it looks like. Snake vs. Block. Otherwise, you can play Puzzle Pits. This oh is hilarious. God. It's a prank call app, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> is it a real prank call? Oh, we're yes. brand. Yeah, you can it's literally, real. we can prank call people right now. We, You send, you open. Is it ethical? You, you can, ethical? No, you can send, <laughs> you put the phone number no. in and then a prank no, calls no, like, then, then, Can you prank call a friend? Anyone, yeah. Anyone. Oh, okay, of course it's ethical then. then Let's prank call a friend now, let's yeah, go. Yeah. Okay, so we've changed, we've changed it up. Jules has decided to prank call Jack Parrot. Jack Parrot. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Does he have a dog? <laughs> Yeah, he's got dogs. Yeah. There's another one which is pretty funny, which is your apartment smells like weed. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like weed. We should have maybe sent that one. Oh, wait, the dog one's going. Send that to. Do you have a dog? Huh? Does he have a dog? Yes, he's, he's got a dog. Okay. Yeah. They, have to, they have to have a dog. This is going to be exciting. Oh my gosh, you can't wait to Okay, I want to hear this. <gasps> Can you turn it up? All right. Did they transcribe it for you? Um, here we go. No. I don't know if that. Hello. Hello. Hi there. Good evening. Um,. Uh, I, I'm a neighbor of yours, and um, to be honest, I would prefer if I do not reveal my identity. But I'm calling you because <clears throat> your dog keeps barking really loudly. The thing is, I haven't been able to sleep for the last few nights, and I just wanted to ask you, are you aware that your dog is barking? Yeah, it's just me slowly sticking my penis inside him, and it makes him bark Excuse really me? loudly. Can you hear me? Just like... Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I just like softly stroke, stick my fingers out of him, and that makes well, me laugh really loud. I'm sorry about that. The, um, the thing is, well, I was talking to the rest of the neighbors, and it turns out it also barks at around three o'clock in the morning and wakes up the kids and and then the entire family. So, I have collected signatures with the complaints, and I would like to know if I could drop them off in your post box. Would you have a problem with that? Yes, please. No, I will have no problem. <laughs> at all. And I, if you want okay. to come to that, uh, Anyway, you, you well. should know that your dog is duller than a tortoise fight. It's so tired. <laughs> oh, my he was like, I see something so rude. Yeah, yeah. You he was like, I stick my fingers in my dog's ass or something, and that's no my fault. No way. It's How like, do you <laughs> Uh, thanks for being such a sport, Zonda. <laughs> this is all Jules' idea. It's all my idea. Okay, we, we are, we've been here for way too long. Way too long. Shot guys, shot yeah, shot. Actually, like, Jules actually ain't left, like she's just gone. She's just I think that waiter came over and was like, yeah, you guys are like taking up the table. <laughs> yeah, we just, we, we just can't stop talking. Bro, but listen, we got you representing now. Hey! Dude, this is sick! Look at that! Guys, check that out! <laughs> 
How do I, how do I look with the truck cap on? This is a chip. Yeah, pretty boss. Are you just saying that? Okay. Mate, mate, mate. That looks good, bro. I like there it. There we go. Now there we go. go. <laughs> Shot, guys. You got a copyright strike because you live here? I, I think so. So, I'm with Frankie. Hey, what up, boys? So, we're going to drop off some footage. I didn't, you guys <laughs> haven't known, Frankie's been helping cut some videos. What's up, what's up? Uh, what a legend. If you haven't yet, go sub his channel. So yeah, that was a very cool lunch breakfast. Um, yeah, I actually want to hang out more with them, and the, this hat is pretty bold. See, so guess we are, guess who had lunch with? With luck? No. With... You can't know. No, no, no. I don't know them. You don't know? No. I don't know them at all. You don't know good luck? No. What? Dude, man, I don't know. Maybe it's the start of my circles, man. I have no I'll, show you, I'll show you some music now. It's a dope cap, though. My hair is like flat now. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is, dude. I got you, though. I got you, don't worry. <laughs> I haven't seen Frankie's apartment, so this is going to be interesting. Whoa, look at the Frankie studio! Yeah. The beast. Look at this. I, just, I must say, your setup was a lot neater than mine. I like what you've done here. Ooh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Wow, one, two, three, four. No, 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 no. This one's going away. So I've got more space now. See, when I'm eating, I have to hold the plate like this. <laughs> it doesn't work. So now I'm going to take this away, and this is going to be my eating, eating section right here. But it's nice, because I can... So this is streaming, yeah. this is gaming, yeah. and this is editing. Okay. So Sick. it's nice. It's nice to divide it up. You know. Yeah. Oh, I like this green wall. Did you paint? You paint this wall green? Yeah, yeah. It's easier. In the past, I was that with my back facing the wall. Yeah. So I had that as a backdrop. Now it's just green, which I don't mind for. I like green, so it's fine. But I might just, you know, paint that back. I think I might. It feels like a studio in here, which is nice. I like that. That's my favorite part of like a home. Studio feels like home for me. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. People like don't divide your workspace into your living space, but. Work is basically. How do you watch movies? Do you just do you just, See, so this is the thing, right? This is the plan. This is a long term plan. I want to put a TV up on that wall, right? Because we've got the sound system in already. And then you can just chill on the couch like this. See? And it's chill. You can watch the guy gaming. You can watch a movie. It's it's all set. Dude. Also, want to get my logo in a neon sign on that wall. Oh, I've been considering doing a neon thing I'm as well. I'm doing it, bro. I'm doing it. Yeah. Let's, go, let's go together. I'm done. That's gonna be sick. A neon sign would be super sick. Okay, so I'm dropping off my footage here uh, and then I'm going to head on home to start a live stream. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Uh, let me know what you guys think of that Fortnite thing and getting Fortnite servers. Just take, take some serious thought into it. I think that there's a lot we can do as a community and if we stand together. I'll, Frankie, I'll tell you a bit later. About what, Fortnite? Yeah. Alright. Okay. But like, it's it's. It, I think it's a nice test case for us to make some cool stuff uh, uh, together as a community. At, at least cool. we can motivate some cool stuff to happen. I'll see you guys in another video. How about a stranger? Cheers.